to start working with the concept art um, that was submitted by a viewer. Um, so these are still early stages, but I figure we'll start using them now. And uh, all I have to do is uh, start working on them to uh, move the background and get it all ready for the game. So I have it open up in GIMP here. Uh, and uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit uh, Shift C and just crop down one of these penguins. Once we get where we want, I'm going to click in the middle, and we've cropped down to that penguin. Now, um, I have my tools off on my other screen here just to make things easier, but I'll drag this over so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to right-click on this layer, and I'm going to make sure that uh, we have an alpha channel. We do. So at this point, uh, I should be able to start erasing the background there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this magic wand tool, select, you can see that you can see a little bit of the border there. I'll drag this over so you can see. Uh, and I'm going to turn up the threshold a little bit there. Right. Oh, maybe 91. There we go. And then shift select over here. And now if I hit delete, there we go. We got a transparent background. So. It's nice that I'm able to move those tools out of the way usually, but I guess for a tutorial I should have them in view. Um, and at this point I'm going to save this image file, save as. And I'm going to go to where the game is, images. And um, I'm going to, for right now, just override this uh, bad tux here. Bad tux 1. Save. Replace it. Save. Now that doesn't ch uh, change it in the game, because in the game we packaged in the images. Let's go into uh, Blender here, make it full screen. And I'm going to right click this tux here. And if I go to uh, our textures here, let's see, I should maybe just be able to uh, unclick that package, we'll say, uh, da 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 da. I think if I just click use this, it's going to save an image packaged in the blend file to the disk. No. Uh, save an image package. I don't want to override. I think. Let's just remove package. Oh, there we go. That's it. And then we can package back in. So let's go ahead and have a look at that. We'll press P to start the game up. There's our penguin. <laughs> So, we got our new little tux image there. Okay. Um, but we also have to change it in uh, <coughs> other places. Do we have any other bad tuxes? No, we just have this tux. And I don't really have a bizarro tux yet, but we can use one of the other images for the time being. So let's go ahead and um, go back into GIMP here. We can minimize this. And if we just hit Control Z a few times, there we go. We got back to our original image. And now we can crop one of these. So we'll say Shift C again for cropping. And we'll just line this up like so. Then I'm going to use the wand tool, shift select. In this case, we got a little bit of his belly there, so what we're going to have to do is zoom in, and with uh, a brush tool or the pencil tool, probably even better, turn down the size of the pencil, and just close this off here. There we go. That should fix our problem. And now we'll choose the wand. There we go, I can hit delete, and we're good there. Um, the color comes over here a little bit, so we'll use our eraser tool, and we'll erase out that, and that should be good to go. We're going to then say file save as, and we'll save him over the bizarro, so bizarro penguin, save, replace. And uh, I have no problem replacing the images here because 
I have all the different blend files with them packaged in there and I can extract them from there if I wanted to go back to the old art. No need to keep a separate file of them. So let's open up or switch back to Blender here. Select him. Move package. And we'll package it back in right away. Now he is kind of crump uh, slumped down because uh, the size of the image this guy is taller than the last tuck so all you have to do is hit S Z scale him up till we get how we like him let's go back here and try it in the game so when our super tux hits the red kryptonite he should turn into that <laughs> who is rather large know, maybe we'll leave him large <laughs> Let's see if we can kill all these guys. Oh, I'm out of tuxes. And you notice that the one tux is now the old, ba well, they're both the bad t old tuxes. That's because that's still saved in uh, the file, and when the level restarts, as I keep telling you, it goes to the file you have saved. So all we have to do is hit Control S and save over the old. Now, when the level restarts. <laughs> Okay, looking good so far. Uh, and let's just, uh, I'm not going to throw them in the game yet, but let's crop the image of uh, the last tux we have here. So, control Z a few times. <coughs> and then we'll shift C. Right here, right here. Drag this down. Crop. Use our wand tool. We got his eye right there, so let's make sure we zoom in here. And it probably happened right there. Right in that little space right there. So I'll just take our pencil tool again. Scale it down. And we'll also do the same for the foot right there. Okay. Get our wand tool again, select, looking good, delete. Now, this guy's kind of standing on an angle, which is fine for the image, but we probably want his feet flat on the ground for the game. So we'll sh uh, control or, yeah, control A and then, uh, let's see, is it R? Control R, uh, shift R for rotate. And we'll rotate this guy just a little bit. You can use your mouse scroller to fine-tune that out. And we'll say rotate. Now we'll uh, M for move, and we'll move him down a little bit. That's better right like that. If it's a little off the ground, but it's not going to make a difference. And we'll also shift C and make sure we crop the image now that we a little better now that we've rotated him. And we will file save as. And um, we didn't have a third bad tux, so we'll just call this bad tux 2. Save. Export. Save. And, uh, that should be good. So, we've cropped them all. We've got two of them in the game. Thanks for watching. Uh, continue watching these pop development tutorials and give the game a try. And hopefully you can help us uh, develop it some. Uh, visit filmsbychris.com and I hope that you have a great day.